Hey, hello gamers. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to find a new free-to-play battle royale game to play, then stick around. Now, it doesn't really matter if you're new to BR games or experienced, because this list will have something for everyone. Now, these are in no particular order, because it all depends what you want from a BR game. Do you want building, good gunplay, first-person modes, or something different entirely? I don't know. So I'm just going to do my best to show you five good free-to-play BR games, so let's start with number five. Fortnite! I know, I know, you've undoubtedly heard about this one, and rightfully so. Fortnite has a vibrant, cartoony art style similar to Overwatch, and it's one of the most known video games out on today's market, and I have no doubt that this game will be recorded in gaming history for years to come. Grandparents in 2068 will be saying how in the good old days they play Fortnite and go tilted like no one had gone tilted before. Fortnite is the only game in this list that offers any kind of building mechanics, and that's really what sets it apart from other games. The building is very similar to a game called Rust, although with Fortnite's movement, it gets a little bit more fast-paced. Season 7 just started, if I'm not mistaken, so there's a bunch of new skins and other things to unlock if you're willing to grind and or get the battle pass and then still grind a bit. Fortnite's DLC system, like most free-to-play games, is what I would call pay to skin, but I can't really complain there as long as you can also earn a good amount of stuff for free, and that is the case. So yeah, Fortnite. Number 4 goes to Cuisine Royale. Now, if you haven't heard about this game, don't fret. It's not blown up to Fortnite proportions yet, but this game is a massive meme. And I don't mean it's a bad game, but it was literally created as a game mode for an early access game called Enlisted, and it just blew up. So now it's a standalone game, it's free to play on Steam, and I love it. It has much smaller lobbies than other Battle Royale games, often less than 30 players, but it has a vibrant World War II map, a very unique feel to the movement system, and of course, World War II weapons. But that's even looking past the creme de la creme of this game, and that is the armor slash upgrades that the game offers. Cuisine was supposed to be a bit of a joke of what BR games are, and it offers a wide selection of cooking pots and pans for your armor, as well as things like key bags, halos and knee pads of speed, and a lot more. The cooking utensils obviously being their selling points, this cuisine is French for kitchen, and it's obviously a nod to PUBG's frying pan, but they then took it and went overboard with it, and I love that. It's a fun game to record, stream, or just play with your friends, especially in the day and era where setups are expensive and many AAA games aren't for everyone. Cuisine offers you a smooth, fun experience, and that's why I had to add it to this list. Before we get into number 3, I'd like to ask you a question. Do you play Battle Royale, and if so, what's your favorite one? To add to that, let me know if you knew all of the games on this list, and if you've started to play one, or if I've encouraged you to play one that you didn't before, please do let me know. I love to hear it. Number 3 would be H1Z1, or H1Z1, whatever you want to call it. Now, I personally don't like any of the changes they made with the game since its inception, or rather since the change of ownership, but it's still one of the better BR games regardless, and it went free to play very recently. It has quite a large esports scene, so if you're going for something competitive that isn't Fortnite, then this could be your game. Regardless, this game that started out as just one of two H1Z1 games turned out to be the most popular and the most supported. Whether or not that's fair, I'll leave that up to you, but if you want something old school, then H1Z1 could be right for you. And that brings us to number 2. Numero dos would be Realm Royale, and it's probably the weirdest one on this list. Sure, Fortnite lets you dress up as a nutcracker or a robot llama, and Cuisine Royale hooks you up with IV bags, pots and pans, but Realm Royale is weirder. If you're lucky enough to find a forge on this map then, well I say lucky, but you can see them on the minimap, but regardless, if you can find them and you've disenchanted enough items that you found, then you'll be able to craft crazy good armor, weapons, and more there. The disenchanting feature reminds me a lot of the scrapping features in Rust. In fact, many VR games seem to have features that Rust has too, come to think of it. Realm Royale turns you into a chicken if you get downed rather than just being downed. It's rather fun because instead of being on the ground crawling to your teammate screaming, help me dad, you're jumping up and down like a chicken trying to avoid their shots. Separate down, boy. So that's number two. Last but not least, the China number one of this list is Ring of Elysium. Ring of Elysium is the best free-to-play counter to PUBG, because it's everything PUBG tries to be, and more. It has somewhat realistic graphics, a beautiful setting, runs pretty good compared to other games on its list. I mean, the gunplay is pretty solid, but it adds to what PUBG has. The vaulting system is smoother than in PUBG, the guns in the game are actually pretty cool, and the most unique thing that it has is that it sure it adds gliders and all that, but it also has snowboards. The game is set in a snowland, and rather than having a blue zone or gas coming in, it has a snowstorm, rather. Although it just says that the temperature is dropping. I'd like to consider it a snowstorm, because that's cool. And I think that just adding this natural event adds to the feel of this game to try to be the more realistic option amongst the Battle Royales. Look, at the end of the day, it all depends what you want from a BR game, but I think I've been able to give you some different kinds of BR titles. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. If you want to see more about it, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, because I like bells. Ding! This has been VK, and I will see you next video. Bye!